So today we're going to be talking about the EZA free-to-play STR Videl. So let's just jump straight into it. So STR Videl comes out in November of 2016 for JP and March of 2017 for Global. So she comes out during the Leader Skill slash Dokkan event meta. And is she a good card during that meta? I would probably say this is a very last sixth option you run on a team as a support unit. Because she has a chance to give support. Yeah, she has a 70% chance to give 20% attack and defense to all allies. Now, granted, that is cool and all. But don't we have Interlist existing back then? Um, what's the fastest way I could pull up Interlist? Uh, let me just go ahead over here. Is Interlist uh, chattering the limit? Let me see. We got to bring up Interlist real quick. I'm pretty certain. Interlist, he was one of the best support type units back then. So what would be the point of you running him here? He's not Fierce Battle. There's no way in hell he is. I wouldn't I wouldn't even believe it. He's, yeah, he's shattering the limit. Look at him. Look how old he is. This old grandpa of a card. Yeah, you had this guy running around. Yeah, now, I mean, I, mm, yeah, nah, we, yeah, you're running Interlist. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely running Interlist. Yeah, giving key and attack over Videl's just attack and defense. And, I mean, defense in November of 2016? I mean, well, those Dokkan events were cooking you back then. Um, nah, Turles, he was just far more valuable. Yeah, he was. He was. That key, I think the key is definitely more valuable than that defense back in November of 2016. Being able to get your characters to super attack back then? Yeah, certainly. Because sometimes there would be some, there would be some suboptimal teams being ran back then. So this key would bring the, the team together like glue. Yeah, you're running Turles because Turles support is guaranteed if you're above the HP threshold, which you're going to be above the HP threshold at the start of the turn if you start out the rotation with this guy. And then Videl's is just a 70% chance. So you're chancing it for 20% attack and defense, which is cool and all. But that key is definitely more valuable than Videl's defense slash chance of her giving that support. So yeah, she would probably be a last ditch option to be ran. I mean, even then for on let's you know let's take it a bit deeper. So STR, right? Uh, you know who's a better support type unit than her? Well, yeah, it's gonna be the STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Yeah, you're absolutely gonna be running. Back then, he was out at the time, right? Where is he? Another old fart of a unit. Where is he? He's he's not shouting the limit. He's fierce battle, bro. <laughs> hold on, hold on, kids. I gotta give a little bit of a history lesson. Hold on, hold on. Uh, where is GT Heroes? Okay. Um, let's grab up the STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Where is he? Right over here. So your support was guaranteed. Yeah, your apps. Well, but damn, you don't get your awakening until pretty much 2017. Yeah. Okay, let me see your SSR. Let's take it back a little bit further. I know, I know. I'm taking a bit long here. Um, 25% attack for all allies? Yes. I mean, but are you really chancing it? You're, you're definitely going to run. I mean, mm, are you going to value the defense over his guaranteed attack support? I'm sorry. Yeah. Videl is probably going to be a last ditch option. And is that 5% attack? Bro, I'm thinking way too too hard about this. Okay. Um, STR Videl comes out during the leader skill slash dual kind of meta. And she's a she's a good final option on the team for Super STR. Yeah, she's a good final option. And better yet, the second year anniversary is until 2017, bro. Devin. <laughs> We're still technically in the first damn year. Are we throwing her on STR Gogeta's team? Are we? We're probably not throwing her on STR Gogeta's team because you can run in Turles. Right? Bro, I'm... Okay, let's continue talking in circles about who's the best support type unit to run on the team back in 2016! Okay, uh, leader skill is STR type... HP and defense 50%, so pretty much ass. You're not running that back then. And her super attack, that being the Videl Rush, she does extreme damage to enemy and lowers defense. So, I mean, uh, not great. Obviously, not using her as, as a damage dealer. So, her super attack affects just not being great, or just effect of just her lowering defense. It's, eh. 
I mean, but lowering defense was effective back then. I, now, I mean, you could probably squeeze her on the team. Probably, probably. Uh, just a sixth option, though. And then she has a 70% chance to give 20% attack and defense, which isn't isn't bad, but the chance is definitely what would probably not make you want to run her back then. That would definitely be it. And her links, of course, are Infighter, Cold Judgment, Courage, Battlefield Diva, and Blazing Battle. The links are not really important to talk about as well as categories until we get to the post EZA, but yeah. Um, for the time, uh, a last a last thought for a support type unit, pretty much. Um, we're keeping all that me speculating about who's a better support type unit back then in the video. We're just going to leave that in there <laughs> as a little tidbit. Um, anyways, so as her SSR, we've already talked about it. And she awakens in July of 2019. God damn, July of 2019? How, like th almost three years later? Oh, man, or maybe is it over or like less than three years? Like, golly. Okay, so her pre EZA. Uh, she awakens her in the legendary Goku event meta. Uh, let's see exactly what she's doing. So she now gives STR type 2 key and 50% attack and defense. No, that's STR type 2 key and 50% of the stats. Okay. And uh, you know, of course she has a easy area leader skill. And she also gives, uh, what's that? No, she just does Supreme and great lowers defense. So garbage. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that you're able to lower the legendary goku events defense throughout the entire fight but even then she lowers goku's defense str ui is better yet <clears throat> blue goku's cooking her this is agl he touches her she explodes turns into just just d dust and her passive she gets one key and 20 percent attack and defense per movie heroes category ally on the team and that's up to three key and 60 percent attack and defense okay not great granted for her pre easy a because this is all our defense right and this is all our attacks she's not hitting hard she's not defending at all she's a free to play unit she's going full dodge absolutely and she still has that 70 percent chance to support but oh wait guys it's not 20 percent attack and defense right over here it's now 30 percent attack and defense why the hell is this not guaranteed when she first awakened why we're acting like this is great and this is great no okay um it, I wouldn't even run her at, like at all, it, like during the legendary Goku event. She's ass, straight ass. You're not running her, yeah. She because she's definitely not gonna be able to hold her on. She's getting cooked by normals out the gate. Tech God Goku's even cooking her too. AGL Super Saiyan three Goku in the legendary Goku event is cooking her absolutely. And her post EZA, which of course she comes out during today's meta. That being the little, what do you even call this meta? Like this difficult fight. I don't know. I haven't thought of something to like, you know, call it myself. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what you would call this meta today. I just gotta go back to the drawing board and you know, I think think of something that I would call it personally. But yeah, it's not something that everyone has to run with. Just something that I would probably call it. So her leader skill now is movie heroes three key and seventy seven percent across the board, or STR three key and fifty percent stats. So a better, uh, easier area leader skill. And our new super attack effects, she still greatly lowers defense, which is obviously complete garbanzo beans, but she's gaining 50% defense one turn. W, she's getting defense one turn. 50%, that being. Um, what's her defense post-EZA? 8,671. Not very high here. Her stats are super low, but it makes sense considering the fact that she is a free-to-play EZA area unit. And her passive, she builds up one key up to three and 50% attack and defense up to 150% attack and defense per movie heroes category ally on the team. So you just need three movie heroes category characters on the team. She also gets an additional 5% chance to dodge up to 15 per movie heroes category ally on the team as the first attacker on the turn. Okay. So you just need three movie heroes category characters and you just easily get this out. And she gets an additional 100%, no, it's 120% attack when performing a super attack. All right, that could have been 120% attack and defense, but hey, she does get that 120% defense for five turns after dodging a attack, which is nice. She also has a baseline 50% chance to dodge, nice, and she also gets an additional 50% defense when uh, what's that? Within the same turn? Wait, no, she gets an additional 50% defense and an additional 8% chance to dodge within the same turn with each attack dodged. Okay. And she gives all allies one key and 30% attack and defense just unrestricted. Thank God it's not a chance anymore. 
and she gets an additional what's that no she gets additional 20 percent attack defense for all allies for two turns and she launches an additional attack that has a 50 percent chance of a super attack as he first attack on a turn why in the hell we put in the first slot though we're not putting in the first slot i, I mean but granted she has up to a 65 percent chance to dodge so and but what's nice is that she dodges that first attack and she builds up that dodge chance within the same turn she gets that additional eight percent chance to dodge so she'll go from 65 to what's that 73 i think it's 73 she goes from 65 to 73 so that's from from zero attacks dodge to 65 first attack dodge would be 73 then the next attack dodge would be what 81 and then so on and so forth so yeah not bad unless that's calculated separately but even if then that's not too shabby no she's absolutely dodge or die my only problem with her is that she wants slot one huh why why didn't you just give her a baseline 70 percent chance to dodge or just let her have her 50 percent chance to dodge and then give her an additional 20% chance to dodge as the first stack in a turn. Why? Why is the first stack in a turn? Guys. We don't want her in the first slot. I mean, cool, she's supporting. Nice. Cool, she gets defense on super. Nice. Cool, she's getting defense for just dodging an attack. Nice. Cool that she's getting an additional 50% defense as well as an additional um, dodge chance within the same turn after dodging. Nice. But, um, not many people are lucky in Dokkan. And Dokkan is a luck-based game. You put her in the first slot, um, she's dead. Difficult content. Uh, nowadays, do not favor free-to-play units. Um, unless you are a uh, within a small group of great free-to-play units. Her herself? I don't know, man. I don't know. She really wants she really wants that first slot for additional dodge chance, as well as additional support for two turns for all allies. As well as guarantees, well, excuse me, additional super attack chance. Are you putting her in the first slot? Be honest. I'm going to use her today. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I easy ate her in both versions, of course, because I, I do everything on both versions. Because, I mean, I love Dokkan way too much. Jeez. But I do everything on both versions because I like to, to say update on each version. I After finding out about the sync, I'm like, damn, I'm still playing both versions. It's whatever. But I have not used her a single time in either versions. Post EZA. What do you guys think of her? Are you putting her in the first slot against uh, Beast Gohan? Is she dodging for you against Beast Gohan with a full dodge build? What if she does it? Is she a fraud immediately out the gate? Or is it fine that she's a free to play unit? <laughs> My issue with her is that not that she's a free to play unit. Not at all, because she's going to be she was going to be dodge or die regardless, unless she had a crazy amount of percentage stats inside her passive. My issue with her is the fact that she wants slot one on movie heroes. <laughs> she wants slot one on movie heroes, but they'll get you. <laughs> what? All right. Um. Yeah, that's my only issue with her. Pretty much. That, that's all okay um how many 200 percent is she on now of course the good thing is that she's a she can give up to one key and 50 percent attack and defense to all allies that's great she has additional super attack chance to give her further more defense builds up dodge chance defense for the same turn nice has dodge here um has dodge she has multiple dodge procs inside her passive i'm not sure if those are separate but it's nice so she has dodge defensive build up in the same turn so those dodge chance dodge defense support lovely as well as defensive super we love that only problem is, is that she wants slot one All right um anyways uh let me just get you out of the way Let's see how many 200 percent is because you're on um so our girl videl is on three 200 percent leader skills she's going on gogeta's she's going on gogeta's she's going on gogeta's okay Best Lincoln partner. Um, no. No? They don't dodge, they die. Now she's dodge or die. You run these two as a rotation. Talk to me. How's that going to work out? Now, granted, they get a total of 7 key, 30% attack, 
5% defense, debuffing the enemy's defense by 15%, as well as an additional 5% chance to dodge. But wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So she starts out with a base 65% chance to dodge as the first attack in the turn. You have a full link level 10 to, um, Great Sandman 1 and 2. That's an additional 5% chance to dodge. That's a 70% chance to dodge. All right. All right now. She still dodges die though. She doesn't dodge that first attack. She's dead. But she dodges that first attack. Granted, this let's say that this is together. I'm not completely sure. Um, it's most likely going to be separate. You know what? But even then, let's say you get through dodging all those attacks. They don't dodge, they die. We got to dodge or die fast. We're done here. <laughs> Three 200% of your skills. Problem, pretty much. Um, dodge or die. Wants the first slot. Why? A dodge or die is fine, but why do you want the first slot? Why? Why? Why can't it just be a, a slot three dodging unit that could tank normals? Why? We don't, we, we don't like simplicity, Dokkan? No? A slot three um, dodger... No, excuse me. A slot three dodging free-to-play unit that could tank normals. Could you tank normals? I got a user. I, I, got, I got a user. Certainly. Um, that's gonna be about it. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. That's gonna be it for Videl. I don't know. Let me know, guys. Let me know how she is down below. I'm pretty sure one of you guys have used her. Yeah. All my free-to-play, uh, you know, connoisseurs. Love my free-to-play cards. But I have not used her. Peace.